you work with Portia on her show on Fridays when you very when you first started. Right. What happened from that point to how how did you get on the morning show, the main show? Right. See, a lot of people thought that I started off with the morning show, Frank and Juan the Morning Show, mm -hmm. but it was actually Portia Fox on yeah. Friday. Mm -hmm. And what happened was Portia invited me to come and sit in the studio with her one mm -hmm. day because back before all of this, I went to a comedy club. Rick, uh, what's his name? Ricky Smiley? Uh, not no. Ricky Smiley. Uh, what's the child name, honey? The comedian, honey. He had a comedy club here, Chris Tucker. Oh, Chris okay. Tucker had a comedy club in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So I went and signed up to do Amateur Night. Mm -hmm. You know, I went and signed up as Joe. Mm -hmm. Then I went back as Sophia. Yeah, I remember you as Joe. <laughs> yeah, so then when I went to the comedy club that night, they were like, uh, they kept asking me because, you know, it was like, they, uh, but charging people like mm -hmm. you a bar tab and all mm -hmm. that stuff. So you paid your bar tab and everything, you know, at the end. Mm -hmm. So then it was just like amateur night, they say they have like 10, 15 people there. But this night they had to turn people away because it was so packed. And what happened was I was hosting a drag show on Monday night. So I was just telling everybody every Monday, I'm doing my first stand up comedy, you know, show mm -hmm. at Chris Tucker's Comedy Club, you know, such, such, such. So that day it was just like, they had to turn people away. Mm. So they kept coming to me and they were asking me like, could you, uh, could we put another comedian before you? I'm like, sure, because I already knew, you know, they figured the people that came to see me, they're gonna, you know, end they up leaving stay. once I yeah. perform. So mm -hmm. they trying to milk them out all this money. So it's like, <laughs> okay. Then they kept coming back, can you put another, can we put another? I'm like, oh fine, sure. Then they kept coming. So then they came back the last time and they was like, so, uh, we don't have time for any more amateurs. Now, mind you, I went as a boy and signed up, but now mm -hmm. I'm in full drag. And mm -hmm. I'm, back then, I was like the RuPaul, you know, mm -hmm. like giving y'all natural like I'm doing today. But, you know, did all of that. So I was like, well, no, you know, I did a whole lot. I didn't just throw something on and mm -hmm. come up here to perform. A lot of people came out to see me and blah, blah, blah. So it just came into this big thing, but we'll get into that story later. Mm. So I'm thinking, this is how Portia and all of them met me at V103. Mm. So with everything that went down at Chris Tucker's Comedy Club, mm -hmm. they invited me to come to uh, the morning show. Ryan Cameron, he was over at the other show at uh, Hot. Mm -hmm. So he invited me to come on because the Ryan. word got out. Ooh, this drag queen was at Chris Tucker's Comedy Club and blah, blah, blah. And they turned it out and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So long story short, Portia invited me to sit in with her mm -hmm. on one Friday. She said, will you come sit in with, with me one Friday? Because I was getting my 50 minutes of fame. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Ryan Cameron had me in hot, and then Frank and Wanda had me, and then Portia had me on Friday. So mm -hmm. when I sit in with Portia on Friday, she was like, after the show, she was like, oh my God, you were fabulous. Mm -hmm. How about uh, you come every Friday? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she's like, Friday's your day? And I was like, cool. Mm -hmm. So that's how I ended up on Portia's show. And then from Portia's show, Frank went on vacation for two weeks. Now, you know, in any job, you go on vacation for a week. And then yeah. you, later on in the year, you go on another week. You take another week. So this particular year, Frank decided that he wanted to go on vacation two weeks. Mm -hmm. And so when they came to him, they was like, well, you know, you can't take no two weeks. We can give you one week. And he was like, well, no, I already paid for my family flight and we're going on vacation. And then I can't get my money back for the cruise. We're going on a cruise and blah, 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 blah. Right. So he had tapped their hands. So they was like asking Wanda, well, what do you want to do? You know, so I had sit in with them, you know. So she said, well, let me call Sophia and see mm -hmm. if uh, she's available. And then she could come and sit in with me like, you know this week and it was so funny because I had at that time I had just moved to Atlanta so I was back and forth because they didn't want to let me go in Dallas so I was flying to Dallas do my show then mm -hmm. I come back to Atlanta do my show then I'm flying to yep. Dallas so I had just I got burned out on that mm -hmm. so I was just like I, you know this is my last week I can't do the back and forth because it seemed like the week was coming it was rolling around real fast and it's time for me to go get on this plane again so I'm just like I said I wasn't going to do that and just so happened that Wanda called me when I decided that I wasn't going to go back to Dallas anymore. I was mm -hmm. just going to, you know, do Atlanta. So she said, are you available? I'm like, sure, I'm available, blah, 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 blah. So it's just like I tell everybody, it was just like the movie Petey Green. If mm. you watch that movie Petey Green, my radio career, that is, I think they stole my life story when it comes wow. to my radio career because yeah. that's exactly how it happened. Wow. When I was there for that week with Wanda mm -hmm. and the the Friday, the Thursday before the Friday that I was supposed to be my last day, mm -hmm. they called me in the office. When I said, they, I'm talking about Reggie. Reggie mm -hmm. called me in the office and he was like, Reggie Rouse. Mm -hmm. He was oh. like, uh, uh, you've been great since you've been here and the people are asking us to find a spot for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just like, you know, you know, and we want 
you to come and we come up with this idea if you want to accept this offer. So it's just like, I'm like a, ca- a, a kid in a candy store. It's mm-hmm. like, you're offering me a job. I haven't even filled out an application. <laughs> so he had asked me, he said, he showed me the research work. He said that the research work has been high this week and everybody said, you know, keep her, keep her, keep her. Y'all need to find something for her. Mm-hmm. So they offered me a part-time position on the morning show. Mm-hmm. And then they told me, this exclusive. <laughs> they told me at the time, we really want to give you a full-time position, but because it's somebody else's show, we don't want to feel like we're strong-arming them. Mm. So we're going to offer you a full-time position if you accept it. He said, but the thing about it is, just like there's a demand for you to stay and for us to find a position for you, mm-hmm. there's going to be a demand for more of you. So mm. when that demand happens, will make you full time. Mm. So, Can I say though, it. from a listener's perspective, and of course I was on the radio at the same time, you brought so much life to that show in the morning. It's what it needed. Now, I, I love Wanda and Frank, <laughs> child, I do, I promise. But I actually listened when you were on the show. Well, I think that's what was so amazing about it because it's just like, you know, until I was on the radio, first mm-hmm. of all, um, you know, we they didn't think that it, well, Frank didn't think that it would work because we're in the Bible Belt. Yeah. And they said, there's no, he said, there's no way that Child, somebody- Child, we in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, it's in Atlanta, but we're still in the Bible Belt right. running. And they said, there's no way that mm-hmm. they are going to, you know, buy this, mm-hmm. you know, a man in drag mm-hmm. on the morning show mm-hmm. when kids are up getting ready to go to school and parents, are, they said they're not buying this in the, uh, in uh in Atlanta in the mm. Bible Belt, and so when the research work came out, because they always figured that I would you know bring the uh the women, mm-hmm. but when the research work came out, you know, I was clear cut across the board: mm. men, women, children, all ages, all demographics. So it was just like funny is funny. <laughs> so then it was just like once that happened, they saw that oh girl, this this is a hit. Mm. <laughs> so then. Frank saw with his little antics. Mm-hmm. It was just like, you know, trying to cut off my mic and, you know, doing the little stuff that he was doing and everything. But the thing about that is I tell everybody, God is not going to send you nowhere where you're not ready. Before I met Frank Ski, I had already worked with somebody like a Frank Ski in Houston. Mm-hmm. So God had already prepared me for that lesson. So when Frank started with his little antics and stuff, I just ignored him. And ignoring him upset him even more. <laughs> so it's just I like, did not know this. <laughs> you are giving me tea. <laughs> yes, ignoring him upset him more. And then it's just like he would sit in my face in the studio and say, um, you know, great show and blah, 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 blah. You know, and you did this and you said this and da, 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 da. And it's just like, okay, great show. Mm. You shine, we all shine because we're the Frank Ski Morning Show. It's the Frank mm-hmm. Ski Morning Show. So when you shine, we all shine, blah, blah, blah. But after you sat in my face and told me that, then you walk down the hall mm-hmm. to Rick Caffey's office, mm-hmm. the general manager, mm-hmm. and you complain about me. Mm. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment. You never know when I might be in the comments. And also, thank you guys for continuing to watch.